a man I give you no break. Not even in your eyes, you're not giving you no break. Hey, hey, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Right now we're responding to a local skating rink. There's an off-duty detective that's uh, working there and he's uh, discovered what he believes is a stolen van and feels that the individuals uh, that brought the van there are inside. So um, we're going to set up some type of surveillance and... Uh, to catch the individuals that brought the stolen van there. 457. Go ahead, Corporal. Where's the van at that you uh, suspect a single 10? Be the first one at the white, white Ford van parked on the right side as you come in. Hey. What's up, bud? How are you? How you been? Good. What are you up to? Not too much. Um, I'll get Stephanie either set up with me or a little bit uh, west of here. And then once you give the word that they're getting in the car, we'll come around the corner and we'll block it in with the front of the car. Okay. You going to be on three? Channel three. Yeah, well, I'll be up there in just a couple minutes. And then when Hotel 2 comes 10-8, I'll have her come up there. Okay. We're setting up at where that country place used to be. I guess it closed down. And uh, we'll be on Channel 3. We've uh, determined this vehicle is stolen from Stevenson County in Freeport, Illinois. Um, myself and a couple other units are uh, surveilling the van at this time. There's going to be a canine unit behind the van um, where we originally parked up back there. He's going to be walking around with the dog. When I tell you they're out, just stand by. Okay. behind your back. Just hang loose. Yeah, I've got his. They painted it with a paintbrush to be a different color. Albert, did you see that? The, you know, the hit said it was two tone, like brown over gold. The thing's been painted with a paintbrush. Did they paint it with a paintbrush? Probably some type of house paint. I'm talking about that, how wide it is. I See that the true colors up there on the top where they where they didn't get to it. Brown over gold. Mike's still going in, going to the car, right? He's still going to the car. Let's see what he has to say. Listen. <laughs> that was in there. Hello. Keys your car, Yes. Got lots of jewelry, Clyde. Uh, that's a good boy, Rex. That's good a good boy, boy, Rex. We've got some seasoning. We've got some pot right here. We've got a pie for this smoking in. Comic books. Lots of them. I wonder if it's this guy's personal collection or if they did a burglary somewhere uh, in the comic books. I wouldn't be surprised because they got prices on them. Okay. Do you understand 
understanding. Do you want to talk to me now? You need to tell me what you guys are doing in this van. Huh? Driving in it? Where did you get it from? Illinois. Who did you get it from? 46, Where? Cars are us. Did you buy the van? Did you loan it, get it loaned from somebody? Kind of took it. Who did you kind of take it from? What did you do? Keys were in it. Comic books in the back of the van. Those stolen. You guys do a burglary? Where'd you do it at? Your parents' bookstore? Is that in Illinois? Who have you come down here to see, Nick? No one in particular just came down here. He came here to Florida, all the way from Illinois for a reason. How'd you have the money to get to Florida from Illinois? Comics. Sold them. Sold the comics along the way? And that was your gas money to get down here? We appreciate you uh, being honest with us. I appreciate it. I really you know, it's, it's not going to make a difference if you being arrested or not. We'll let you have a cigarette. But we appreciate you not sidestepping us and trying to play games, okay? What were you guys doing in the van? Somebody sold it to us. Somebody sold it to you? Yeah. Well, as is, no title. They just said, they said $200 and you can have it. I've already talked to your friend. I don't like people that lie to me. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give you the opportunity to start again, okay? So let's start off on the right foot, because I already know what the story is, okay. but I want to hear it from you, okay. okay? So let's try this again. Okay. How did you get the van? Stole it. stole it. I'm sorry? Stole it. You stole it? Yes. Where'd you get the comic books? There is. How did you get them? Stole them, too. You stole them, too? It's unfortunate when young people like this get involved in this type of thing and come to Florida and think it's some type of oasis. Um, they both ended up incarcerated now and, and might even do some time in prison. I've been a deputy here uh, with the Sheriff's Office in Hillsborough County for going on five years now. You get to know a lot of the people around here and, and they tell you that when you join law enforcement or you become a deputy or police officer that it, it's hard to make a difference being one person or one deputy. but. I, I personally think that if you get one person off the street during your shift that is obviously a bad person or a criminal of some sort, uh, that you've at least made the world a little bit safer. We're going to back up a DUI task force unit who apparently has uh, rolled up behind a guy passed out behind the wheel in the middle of the road. You stopped him, Jerry, and he you stopped this guy and he was drunk? I didn't stop him. Oh, he's just no, sitting there like that? There. Passed out? Right. Sitting, behind the wheel? Sitting on his boiled nuts and all. Go wake him up. Okay, well, let's wake him up. Is the car running? Yeah. <laughs> sitting on boiled peanuts. Looks like he's been in an accident where somebody hit the windshield. He's been smoking some marijuana, guys. Jerry, there's roaches all up here, so watch it when you... You ready to wake him up? Let's do it. Open the door first so we can turn the car off. William! Sheriff's office! Buddy. Trying to get some rest. Get some rest? It's all right. I got it. I don't want you driving off with us. I don't want to drive off either, sir. Okay. okay. Will you want you to step out of there? Sure will. How long you been sleeping, William? Eleven. Since eleven? What time is it now? How about yesterday, eleven at night. You've been sleeping since yesterday? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. Please don't do that. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, sir. You have a covered license, sir? Yes, sir. I do. Careful. Over the sidewalk. Yeah, let's go over on the right side. There on this side. Oh, this is fine over here. We'll just go over here. Really good one. Uh, why don't you step over here to the sidewalk with us, okay? Okay. 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 Okay
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm all right. What would you like Take to see? Take a look at your driver's license if I could, okay? Sure. Do you live at uh, the address here on the driver's license yes. review? Yes, sir. What's your street address, sir? 50th Avenue. Okay. Is that your truck? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. My name is Deputy Brown. This is Deputy Morris. This is Deputy Smith. We work for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Came upon your truck here, sitting in the middle of the road, the engine's running, and you're passed out there in the, in the seat. Yes, sir. Any, is, is there anything wrong with you? Or do you have any medical problems, or you feel okay? Yes, sir. I feel fine. Excuse me? No, there's nothing wrong. I feel fine. Hey, Mr. Swank, I've, I've uh, taken a look at your truck there, and noticed when you stepped out, you kind of lost your balance a little bit, and I smell some alcohol in your breath. Uh, before I ask you any questions or do anything further, I'd like to read you your rights, your Miranda rights, okay? Before I conduct an investigation with you, okay? Sure. I need you to listen to what I'm going to tell you. You're suspected of driving under the influence of alcoholic beverages. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Okay, do you want to answer my questions or make a statement without an attorney being present? Yes, sir. Okay. What I'd like for you to do first is go ahead and put your arms down by your side, okay? Then I want you to look at the tip of my pen with your eyes. Don't move your head, okay? Just follow on the tip of my pen and focus on the tip of my pen, okay? okay Just sir. watch the tip of my pen with your eyes. You need to watch the tip of my pen with your eyes, sir. Okay. Follow the tip of my pen with your eyes. Okay, we'll, we'll try it again. Can you see the tip of my pen, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, but you're not following it. Yes. Okay, do you know the alphabet? Not exactly, no, I don't. Do you know part of the alphabet? Part of it, yes, I okay. need C D, E F G, H R J K. That's I really don't know. Okay, that well. that's fine. You are under arrest at this time, sir. Five ten fifteen, one white, female, fifty one to central booking, starting mileage, four two six nine nine. Do you have any weapons on you or anything illegal that I should know about? No, officer, not that I know of. I you may mean, have a pocket knife in my pocket. But Which pocket is, would that be in, sir? No, no marijuana or anything. The sheriff's office here takes a zero tolerance policy on drunks, and he realized after we arrested him that he was, in fact, drunk and, and actually thanked us for getting him off the road, making him safe. So it worked out all right. I'm going by the food line up here. Apparently one of the customers have been cut. We don't know how or how bad it is, so we'll be coming up on it here in just a few seconds. The guy in the store says one of the customers came up to him and said uh, somebody was back here advising he had been cut. I think this gentleman right here sitting on the sitting on the curb there. Let me go find out how he got cut. Did he get stabbed? Cut himself. Oh, with his beer? Yeah, he's cut pretty good. Hey, General, how you doing, man? How you doing, sir? Where'd he cut himself at, on the wrist? What'd you do? He threw a beer bottle down. Oh, he got a, he got a good one on his leg here, doesn't he? No. I hope you don't have AIDS, bro. Dex, you got a towel? They're gonna be here any minute. I got paper towel. They're, they're, that's How about something towel. you got? For, whose is this? General, is this yours? Is this yours? No. That, that, belongs, to him, that, belong, oh, that belongs to him. I'm gonna put it in my garage. Okay. You gonna keep it for him? Yes. Okay. That doesn't be bothered. Okay. He's gonna bothered. get some paper towels to keep him. You gonna keep it for him? Okay. Nobody bother. No, nobody's gonna bother there. It's your property. I think, okay. well, General, listen, I think you're going to keep it a little longer than what I initially said because yeah. because of the statements he made now that he doesn't want to live anymore. Okay. Right, since, yeah. he, since he doesn't want to live anymore, we're going to try and get him some help, get him some psychological help to see if, uh, yeah. see if they can't change, yeah, to see if they can't change his attitude. David's been drinking all day, and he uh, was kind of depressed, didn't think he had any friends out here, but he's got a few. Unfortunately, he said he didn't want to live, so we had to Baker Act him, see if, he can get, see if we can't get him some help. Black truck uh, going west on 
all bears. We've got a deputy up here that's across the street from a from a nightclub. Says that a uh, subject in a in a black pickup truck just fired several shots at a crowd of people up here at this nightclub. Apparently, he's headed westbound on Bears Avenue, which is the road we're on right now. He's black truck uh, going west on Bears. Made some uh, shots from shots out of somewhere at the parking lot of Food Lion. Second on Bears. Hillary 2, Fox 4. Hillary 2, Fox 4. Fox 4. 10 4. Ask him if it was a newer Chevy. I've got a black Chevy pickup that was driving uh, west in the eastbound lanes of Bears Avenue right here in front of me. Sir, stick your hands out the window. Passengers do the same thing. Stick your hands out the window. Tell the passenger to stick her hands out the window. Get with them. Get more information. Is this the vehicle right here, Case? Fuck two. The window went out. Did you see it? Yeah. See it? I heard one of your calls on the floor. Keep your hands right there where I can see them. Watch when I open this door, all right? Keep your hands right there. Step on out for me. Yes, sir. Can I ask you something? You own a firearm? I'm sorry? Do you own a firearm? No, I don't, sir. Put your hands right up here. Put your hands right on there. That's good. Keep them right there. What happened? Sir? That's the problem. Some Keep your hands up there now. All right, you had a problem with them. What happened? We were talking a little bit about having a weapon in the car. They threw a bottle out there and busted out the truck. Yeah. What'd you do to them? I didn't do nothing, then, sir. What's your last name, okay, sir? I heard ping, 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 ping from another vehicle. From I was talking to security guard at the apartments across the street, and he uh, and he said, "Is that a gunshot?" I said, "I think so." Why don't you take him and put him in the back of your vehicle? So let me ask you something. Do you have a firearm? Yes. Do I have a firearm? Do you have a firearm in this vehicle? No, I don't. Okay, can I search your vehicle? You're more than welcome. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and go with this deputy back there to his vehicle, okay? I have your wallet and your ID. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I think we're going to have that at least. You right? He said they threw a bottle at him. He said they threw a, a, a bottle at him, but... Casey said he's sure that he heard some gunshots, so he gave us permission to search his vehicle. Let's search it at least for a firearm. You got two victims that's got pulled the gun on one and hit the other one side of the head with a gun. Okay, he gave us permission to search this, so. Okay. There's a fire right here. Look under the seat, because see how the holster's empty? So check under the seat, because the holster's empty. You got, you got how about under this? Set? Yes. Hold on, son. I heard the sound of gunshots. Yeah, here's the shell casing right here. See the one? See the one shell casing right there? Okay. Where? There's the one shell casing right there. And they right. found the weapon? Yeah, it's right there. The right. Okay, great. Okay. Don't Sir, put your other hand behind your back. Yeah. Sir, right now you're being arrested for aggravated assault with a firearm. Have a seat. If I get that, my, I got one. Yes, sir. That, that'll come with you. You'll have all your property. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go find that here. Okay. We got the gun. Yeah. Where's it at? Just right down there. the road. Right there with the car. Okay. What we're gonna do now is, see, before we pulled him over, I guess when he saw me do the U-turn on him, he uh, he realized what he had done, and he he threw the firearm out the window. So we told them the area about where we pulled him over at, and the deputies came back here and checked this area, and they found the, the firearm laying over here on the side of the road. Did you tell him that it's been run over? I didn't tell the sergeant that yet. But... Let me see if he still wants to do that. Apparently what happened, according to the witnesses, he, he got into some kind of altercation in the parking lot, brought the firearm out, threatened people with it, tried to uh, shoot somebody with it, hit him in the head. When he drove off, somebody threw a beer bottle or something at the truck and busted out the, the driver's window. That was when he stopped the vehicle and fired some rounds into uh, into the crowd at the victims, and then and then fled the scene. Okay, we got All right? the gun and everything, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We just waiting on them. Thank you. Good job, Tom. Bye, bye, Corporal. One thirty-two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. 
To love, honor, and divorce. See Divorce Court weekday mornings at 10 only on Fox 5.